Hi, it's Victor and uh, I'm gonna show you some uh, old school pre-Dynamo days uh, techniques for dealing with topography. As you know, uh, site components, site families in Revit actually follow topography. So if I play some uh, sorry light posts which are side families they are going to be always on the top surface like this so you can use this in advantage because you can create an in-place mass and we can use the points from these families or whatever families we create in the side category so let's create our mass like this A simple slab so I finished mast, but now what's happening when I move this cell uh, light post? The mass adapts. So this is a technique uh, Marcellus Campbell. Uh, this block right right here. So it's Marcellus Campbell. Luri, which showed this technique uh, a few years ago. So, this is it. Imagine what you could do if you put more families like uh, a random create splines through the families. The whole thing will adapt. Another thing uh, is um, actually creating uh, topography following uh, a form we need. So we can use our points, uh, place points, select elevation, you know, but it's not always our favorite way of working. So, if you like massing or actually something else, uh, in place components in Revit, you can use them too. So, what I have in mind, I'm gonna create this uh, simple rectangle once again. like this and I'm gonna create a form which is going down in the ground this so edit profile I'm just going to scale the whole profile down something like this so another technique what's good technique is this I'm still in the maze and I can isolate this element and I can export it So, like this, I'm going to overwrite it, leave it, and I'm 
also going to okay like this so I can hide the masses and I can import the DWG I just exported like this to high because my level is too high so now I can select uh, this top surface click edit surface create from import select this mass and create import so now you see it's not going to be perfect actually if I delete the import this is kind of a trap so it's not always working when it's solid what we could do is this Select the mass, isolate element, edit in place, divided surface, just this. And now I'm going to select this, this, this. and this face right here I'm going to isolate them now we have a very nice basket so I'm going to export this as a DWG ok divide it like this Finish mass. I'm actually going to delete the mass and reset temporary view isolate. So now I'm going to link this DWG. It's up there because the only level I have is up there. So I can change the elevation. I can choose the topography, create from import, select, ok, and here it's still better but to be perfect we need to delete these two points right here, three points actually, which are inside the contour, hit delete ok I can delete the DWG and we have uh, created this uh, from in our terrain it's a hello form but you can create whatever you want with this uh, simple technique um, ok maybe I can show something else. I'll just try. Uh, Massing outside in place mass. Okay. Just uh, let's try a spray. from this I'm gonna add some profiles
this and select it edit profile maybe scale this down a lot like this edit profile scale this down I don't know, something like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna select it. Oh, select this right here. Divide surface. No. I'll select all the divided surfaces I'll hit isolate element maybe make um, not fixed number but fixed distance and here fixed distance Set the distance to a hundred and right here to a hundred. I think this will do. Uh, export it. Get our G. Okay. Divide it to replace it. Leave. Finish mass. I'm going to actually delay this uh, mass. Uh, link the file here it is minus uh, there. minus select the topography edit surface create form import select this ok and it's going to create it like this. It's not perfect. In order to make it uh, more precise or you can create more profiles and you can You can create multiple uh, topographies uh, stacked uh, one on another, but uh, this is the foundation of this technique. So you can model it in Revit, you can export it, import it, uh, or you can import it uh, from somewhere else. But it has to have these profiles. Cool. You can see all the points. And this is it. 